Sweetie's World vlog, and um, today I have some things that I had gotten through July and part of um, August. I did get to go to the Route 90 sale, so that was pretty exciting. Wow, it was huge. I wish I had started up on Summer Hill instead of going, like, starting down in the village of Homer, but I still found some awesome stuff. And some of the other things came from other yard sales that I went to or like that. So I got so much to show you. Let's get into it. Um, first, I have to wear hats, uh, because the sun makes me very, very sick. So, I got this nice hat. It's a nice, flowy hat. <laughs> and it, it's nice, because you, it covers up so much. This is one of my favorite hats. And then, I had gotten some, I love crafts, I do crafts, um, I was thinking of doing some crafts and actually having like an Etsy, um, shop to sell some of my crafts, but we'll see, because I can only do just certain, certain amount of crafts and some time, um, otherwise I hurt, like today I hurt, so if I feel, I look a little funky or kind of sluggish, that's why, um, then I had gotten for ten dollars. I got this huge box. I was like, "I'll give you." T uh, how much is this box? He's like, it was like square. And it was like that deep, and he's like, all of the threads, ten bucks. I'm like, I don't have ten bucks. He goes eight dollars. I'm like, sold. So I got to pick up all the thread and everything that went with it. So I got this box and it's full of those threads that you actually used to... Here's ribbon. Here's ribbon. And it's kind of on the hard side because these are vintage. And then I have a white one of that. And I got like a whole lot. And I could not believe like there was huge buttons, which I already put the buttons in my button container, so sorry you don't get to see my buttons. But they were nothing too special. I'll be able to use them. But these, you used to use these in the sewing machines. And I don't know if you can see it. And I got like a, I got red and brown and gray, like the gray on the <laughs> red. <laughs> and I got like a whole box full. And then also, I like vintage, um, like snaps and eyelets and like, here's buckles. These are belt and buckle kit. And these are from 1963, and it was made in New York, uh, New York, New York, and made in USA by John Dritz and Sons and Company. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, a long time. Not expensive, but just a long, long time. And then I got another one. Same thing. And then I have these snaps. This one is from England. And see, it even has a 29 cent thing on them from back in the day. But this one is from England. And it, none of these have, like, dates or whatever. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> um, this one is, and this, these two are made in the USA. And Woolworth Rust Proof Snap Fasteners, size 1. Uh, 19 cents, and I love the, like, they drew out everything, they even show you in the back, like, they even, they even had, like, a measurement thing, and this also, 
the same. And it also came with another little clip. And this is Sewing Notion, Scoble, Spartanburg, South Carolina. I mean, 80 cents for sewing garters. So you know that's going to be an older thing. And then this had needles in it, but I had to throw them out because they were pretty rusted. And this is eight, is, uh, let's see, from eight, it's called White Sewing Machines. It's so easy to sew on, white. And on the back, it just says, have you tried white buttonhole worker, white zigzagger, and white pink spears, shears? So, they have this. It doesn't even have a price on it, but made in America. And what I'm going to do with all these, these older things, because I'm, I'm a crafter, that's what I do, my son loves crafts and like that, what I'm going to do is get a picture frame and collage all these together to have them because my grandma, I had gotten a bunch of my grandma stuff when she passed on, and it had a lot of vintage stuff, but I had to throw a lot of it away, and of course, when you're young, you don't, sometimes you don't know the value of things, at least back in my day. <laughs> so, I, uh, here's another one. It's 20 uh, sewing needles made in England. Since night. 1730. And I think this one, see if they have, this is what needles used to come in. And it has the little, and then see how rusted those needles are? Yeah, not good. They're already breaking down. Of course, you never know if they were in a wet place or not, but that guy was very nice to me. And then I also got some elastic from back in the day it was 15 cents it's like wow things were so many things were made here in America and now they don't some of them just don't a lot more things are across these and then a lot of people back in the day my grandma was one of them they would use their pill containers to use for keeping their needles or keeping this or that, which is great. They were recycling, but nowadays, a lot of medicines have the powders in there that can make you sick, as they say. Um, so, this one, they, it's like little hooks. Just little hooks. And then they have eyelets. Which, I have done eyelets. I don't have an eyelet anymore because I can't use, I don't, I can't um, press the things, the handles together. I'd have to get one of those automatic ones. And then they also have these threads that were um, for coats and stuff cotton and it doesn't say how old they were but I have a bunch of these I have black and brown light brown that one even has a needle in it which ugh, maybe I can get that out of there I don't want to be stabbed by a rusty needle <laughs> um, I also I want to go on to this because I got a lot to show you but I found wooden spools with thread on them, but wooden spools, and they still have the markings. I don't know if you can see that. And it says 29 cents is for coats. And J and P coats, best six cord. Let's see. And I have little one. Oops. I have little ones that are wooden and some more and this one is that one's really light uh hundred 
yards. Star merchandise. Will Boyle, America, 437, and it has a star. But some of these I'm going to be crafting with, so I'm, I'll be starting to do some crafting for the holidays. But let me show you what I mean by I got a lot. That's all. It goes, like, up to here. Up to here. Oh, the way it crossed. <laughs> I got all of those. And they're all wooden spools. I was like, I wanted some spools, but I wasn't imagining I was going to get a, like a whole box of it. And then the, I didn't even know these were at the bottom, all this vintage stuff. So, yeah, this that was a great find for like eight bucks. And, um, so, yeah, now we're going to go on to, oh, here's one of the vintage. These are, um, hook, eye, and loops made in the USA for 15 cents. This is what I'm going to be doing with them. I'm going to be putting them in frames and then hanging them up on my wall. Because I'm just fascinated. Alright, and then this. I paid a couple dollars for this. I don't know what drew me to it. Most people would probably say it's ugly. I don't care. I guess it's my crazy side that loves that. It's a vase. It's the terracotta thing. And this says Tracy Porter, hand painted, all worldwide rights made in China. So incorporated. So I love this. This is nice and heavy too. It has a nice see if I could get the flowers. And these are 3D. Like, those are 3D. And I just, I, I don't know. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Probably some flowers. I, I need some vases because um, I don't have any vases. And then my husband brings me home flowers and I don't know what to do. My mom gave me these for free. These were from my childhood. It was a game called Big Dice, and you had these huge wooden dice. We don't know what happened to the dice. They're gone. But we still have the cards. There's four of them. And each color, you could do yellow, which is adding. You could do green, which is subtracting. You could do adding and subtracting, or this could be multiplying and division, or you could do the whole card. So you could add, subtract, multiply, and dividing. And you had these little piece, like, um, for like poker, or not poker, bingo. <laughs> bingo, and you would put them on what you would, you would add one dice to the other dice, or subtract them, or multiply them, and that would be your answer, and you would put the chip on that, and whoever got, like, from corner to corner, like that, what, but you would win. This was awesome. It was one of my favorite games, and you can tell, because there's no chips, and there's no dice. So I'm going to be using the little white dice that you could just buy from the dollar store or whatever. And then for 10 bucks, no, 5 bucks, sorry, 5 bucks, I got myself a picnic basket. It was wooden. Let me, oops, got it backwards. I got a wooden basket. It has where you could put the silverware. And that's done with staples and elastic. But it was just this color. But I painted it green. And I'm going to paint some flowers on top. Or rub-ons or whatever. Probably paint because I love painting flowers. And I'll probably, I'm, I'm going to paint some flowers on here. And then in here, in the basket, 
I'm going to make a little insert, material insert. So, for next summer, I will be all set for some picnics. And then, excuse me, I also got free because my mom and my parents and I had a yard sale. So, like, my mom was just like, take my stuff, like, that I want. It's free since we were done. It rained on us, stormed on us horribly. So, we didn't get, I sold, like, $6. And that was, like, in toys. My parents got so much more. <laughs> but, um, so she gave me this box. Isn't that pretty? It's probably from, like, you know, the dollar stores probably family dollar and it has this cute little bow and then it velcros and look at that inside you don't get these much anymore oops but inside there were tags for Christmas and yes already Christmas I got these little Christmas balls which a muffin thing and I put tissue paper and it all those little ones fit and then I got these and this is like glass very pretty and I got these ones which are plastic and these ones and some of them even came with hooks my uncle had used to have a, a he was a landlord and for college students and he moved down to Florida so he he was like oh he told my mom and my grandma take whatever put the rest on the curb so my mom took these because she knew I would love them and she loved them she loves the same things I do look at that so awesome and blue I just and then I have like big ones like this purple one and I have a glittery one I mean that's <laughs> pretty huge and then I have some of these and these are glass too those are really pretty I like those it's like uh, gold spray paint or whatever and I got some of these and I even have a pink one which I'm surprised my mom didn't take those and then look at that one oh my god this has got to come from like a different store than like Walmart maybe not that is gorgeous so and then also I got a star, and it has a plug-in, so I wonder how it works. And I got some lights, which they work too. So I gotta add these to my Christmas light stuff. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Here we go. All right, on to the last bit of stuff, and that is toys. You know me. I love my dolls. My creepy dolls. I put them alongside in my... Because, you know, somebody goes in, doesn't like those dolls, especially the older dolls, they're not going to want to come in there. But for, for Easter, I had gotten a bunch of toys, and these also came in it, but somebody had crocheted some of these, and it has a little... So I'm going to put these in my Easter, but I'm going to put some eyes and a little nose because that bugs me. I don't like things that don't have, no, <laughs> things got to have eyes at least. And here's a girl one, and I'm going to put these in with my Easter stuff. And then I got some vintage cabbage patch. She has the yarn hair. Um, and I have the baby. Somebody put a onesie on her, or him. But I got him. He's in really good shape. He's from 
1978, so he's really vintage dolls. And another one, and she's in this, which is Cabbage Patch. It says Cabbage Patch right there. And she has the legit butt badge right there. So she's legit. And I can't believe she actually still has her pacifier, but she has the... She was supposed to be in pigtails, so she'll probably be put back in pigtails. See, when kids come up or like that, I let them play. Of course, my son plays with dolls, too, so he can turn out to be a good father. And then, then her. And she, I loved her because she was like, dee, 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 and her eyes are like glass. And... Let's see. See her? Look at that red hair. Which, see, I put a bow right there because her hair grows. Which looks kind of weird. But, in the back, watch the hair. Oops, can I do this? There goes the hair. It's all back. Which I keep on brushing it, but, you know, it keeps on getting caught. She is a very a vintage doll. She doesn't have her clothes, but the drawstring draw does work. And she's a 1973, her head's a 1972, and it's the Ideal Toy Corporation. But isn't she good? I think her name was Missy or something like that. I call her Abigail because, you know, or no, Ashley? I don't know. Doll. Missy! Alright, but, and even the dress that they put her in, this shirt, is actually a vintage one because they, they have the little, and the collar with the buttons. They don't do that kind of stuff anymore. So, that is all of my stuff that I got. I did get a Christmas, like, carousel ornament kind of thing, but the top broke off. So, I'm just going to, like, make a big scene, a scenery and put that underneath it as, like, a toy for, like, a big tree. And then uh, I'll be doing a video for that when I do put it all together um, to make a scenery for Christmas. But I'm going to be starting... In October, no, when it turns fall, <laughs> when it turns fall, I'm going to start doing, um, in October, I'm going to be, no, September, I'm going to start doing fall, October, I'm going to be doing October on this, and I'm going to start doing crafts for those years, and um, maybe some follow me along in the store to pick up things for it, and how to decorate and stuff like that, if anybody's interested. Um, I'm going to also do some kids craft things that you can do with your kid, and my son will be my assistant. So, um... Everything, I had so much fun this year. Now the summer ugh, is almost over. My, I've been, uh, I got my son already set up for school. Our school is, um, has bought all of the school supplies. So, yeah, we, they bought all the school supplies, so no, us parents don't have to buy school supplies. So all we have to do is get the sneakers and, you know, clothes and jackets and stuff like that, which is awesome. That helps out a lot. Um, and then, uh, I still get, like, the little, um, you know, the workbooks that you can get at Walmart, I get those for, like, first grade, because my son's going to be in first grade. Um, he's my only, so making me feel so old, but he's amazing, and he's smart, 
so I, uh, I picked them up and he loves doing them. He loves to learn. And he's going to be, he's been wanting so bad to be on my channel. So I'm going to be having him more and more being on my channel and um, doing crafts or whatever. Him helping me. Um, I'm going to try to work on my page so I'll have a picture of me um, up on my channel and put in... I'm going to get a P.O. box so you can send me fan mail or whatever. I really hope. Um, ask me questions. I'm going to try to start answering questions and like that. Because um, I really, I, I want to build like a fan or like a family um, so we can talk and talk about things we like. Um, the end of this month, I'm going to be going to the New York State Fair with my parents and my husband and son. This is his first time going. Um, it's only my husband's second because he's from Louisiana. Louisiana! <laughs> Hi, Ma! <laughs> um, and then we are also going to be going and um, we're also going to be next month, I think it is. We're also going to be doing, the end of next month is uh, the Apple Fest in Lafayette. And um, I'm going to be trying to do a bunch of like little things. Like one day I would, um, I'm planning on going to Trinity Valley um, Farm so we can do the maze. Um, I'm really hoping that they can, um, that I can film like our experience there, show that how fun Gabe had and stuff like that and what they have to offer. I heard that it's to tons and tons of fun from like friends and stuff. And um, yeah, tell me what you like to do for the fall and what are your colors? I guess the colors for this year is like plum, burgundy, and rose color, which me I do mostly orange and yellow. Burgundy, yeah. Dark green, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't do too much of the rose. I like the darker colors when it comes to fall. And, um, but we'll see. And maybe I'll do some, um, hauls for the Christmas, uh, Christmas and holidays shopping of the norm. And then what we're, what we do and like that. So that is my plan. And thank you for being patient with me. And I am going to go rest now. Because, because my husband and my son are gone to get some cards from our church. Um, so we can pass them out. Encouraging people to come to our church. Oh my goodness. Um, I haven't been to church in years, and I found this church. Oh, my goodness. I have so much fun. The people are sweet. And they're so, like, they have the good, like, what they're, what God was really about. Like, compassion and love and like that. Not some of the other stuff that I've been hearing that doesn't sound too good. So, and uh, we sing and we get baptized actually in a water tub like I've been baptized my husband's been baptized and so enough about my church but we have so much fun with them so that's why I have a quick chance to um, do a video um, but I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, video click down to the bell and so every time I upload a video, you know that I do. And like and subscribe. Like my video so you can rewatch it and stuff like that. And subscribe um, so then when I upload, you know it and stuff like that. And I'll try to get my every my web page whatever uh, a little bit more. Um, so see you and have fun and if I don't if I'm not back on here until after school starts because we're in the northeast 
Um, even for the South, uh, uh, most of the South that has gone to school already, have a good school year. Good luck and learn. Learn, 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 okay? Love you!